Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Yeah. Alright, so today we are back with the Caliente slash Lothario family. And this is our last video with them, or part with them. And season one right because we're wrapping this up so we have two more parts left we have the goth family to spend our last episode with and then we're going to wrap it all up with um our college students because i've been working on them off camera and they are ready to graduate so anyways um i didn't really know what i had going into the caliente family how i really wanted to wrap it up for them um <laughs> But, in the last part with uh, the Dreamer family, if you guys watched that part, who was it that we saw, you know, at, at, the, at the restaurant, remember? Mr. Lothario himself, who I have been bragging on, you know, I've just been advocating for him. He is going to be a good father. He proposed to Nina, and I'm like, yes, like yes he's he's doing big things like i'm so very freaking proud of him like he's he's gonna be a changed man but no we busted his little he thinks he's slick but he's not he was on a date with somebody i think is this girl right here is this her it is i was wondering if like we would know who she is it was cameron wasn't it i'm pretty sure it was i remember her having long black hair and a red shirt Aw, it looks like Olivia is running out to meet her mom. That is so cute. I love it. Um, so anyways, yeah, back to Dawn though. Yeah, we have a problem here because, I mean, he doesn't have a romantic relationship with her, but the look on his face said it all. He was not there casually just having dinner with a co-worker or a friend. He was doing something he shouldn't have been doing, and we busted him, and he knew it. So... That's where the question lies for me when I came into this household. I'm like, okay, so what am I going to do now? Uh, Nina, don't be rude. Like, that was really rude. She was just trying to, like, talk to you and bond with you. And she, I don't know, congratulating her for growing up well, cute. Anyways, um, wow, this place is a mess. Let's come up here and kind of clean it up a little bit because we know uh, Don's, you know, not going to clean up around here, but he's eating him some leftovers. Um, Alan Turner is no longer a family friend. A little interest and in contact goes a long way. Maybe it's not too late to repair the relationship. Um, anyways, whatever. It's fine. Not worried about you. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out uh, what we're going to do here with Don because... We have two options, and <laughs> this is my dilemma, and I don't have time to, like, ask you guys, what do you think, because this is the last part of season one, so no telling how long it's going to be until we see a season two of Pleasant View. Um, I'll have to set that up and see where I am after my pregnancy and everything like that, kind of wrap up Strange Town season one, just kind of see if you guys would rather me hop right back into Pleasant View or if you guys would rather me start with a completely different neighborhood. But anyways, we'll talk about that later. Um, I have to make a decision. And my decision is going to be, um, is he going to jump the gun and kind of bite the bullet? He's looking at his daughter and thinking, I owe her. <laughs> I owe her the best, the best life possible, and I want to be with her mom. I want to keep our family together. So part of him's like, I need to just kind of just do it, right? I just need to kind of, I've already proposed. I've already taken that step. Wasn't that bad, but I really need to just do it. <laughs> I need to ask her to marry me, and I don't think that they'll have like a big wedding. I think they would just simply elope right away. Um, that's one of our options, and then the other option is, See, at face, he's like, oh, do I really want to do that? <laughs> um, is is he going to leave her? Is he going to say, look, this isn't working out? Is he going to break up with her? Um, I don't know. And this sucks because I don't have, I don't have you guys to give me any feedback because I want to end this on a cliffhanger. I want to end this with like, like a bang. I want to end the last part with each family with something exciting happening and this is a big decision to make, so 
yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm gonna think about it. I'm just gonna gonna play low key through the day. You know, have fun. Just kind of see how they interact with each other. Let Don just kind of think about what he wants to do. Um, try to figure out who Cameron is. He wants to talk to Cameron. Um, but also another thing that I was thinking about because I do remember that. Uh, recently, <laughs> I think it was the last time, or probably the past few parts with the Caliente family, we've had like an issue with the trash that was trapped right here, and I couldn't get to it. Um, I, I tried to move the stairs, it wouldn't let me. I tried to move it out from behind the stairs, it wouldn't let me. Well, anyways, I bulldozed the wall, was able to get that out of there, but something else is really bothering me, and it's the fact that there's snow all on these stairs. There's snow all on the floor right here underneath the stairs because realistically it goes straight up to the roof. Um, so of course the snow is going to fall into the house. This rain's going to get into the house and I know it's the Sims and it's like okay well you know, this is how the house was built. It's really not that big of a deal. Well it bothers me. Like it really does. <laughs> so I think in season two we may um Next time you see them, they may be in a new house because uh, I think it's time to retire, retire the condo or maybe move into a different condo. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, looks like Nina is just cleaning up around the house. She's probably super aggravated because Don has been home all freaking day and he hasn't done crap. Um, well, actually, he's been, he's been on a low key date, but you know, we were not going to tell her that part. Um, but yeah, he doesn't work today, but he does have a lot of skills he needs to work on to get a promotion, but he is all the way up, um, to where he, like, doesn't need any friends. So if he just maxes out these skills, we can have him earn his promotion, but anyways, I'm gonna have her come down here before these spoil and put away these leftovers because those are hamburgers, pretty good quality, and they can, uh, fill us up. But she's not very hungry right this second. Of course he is. He'll just drag, drag that out in a minute anyways, but... Anyways, I guess I'm going to have her come down here and talk to him since Olivia is sleeping. Hopefully, she'll sleep throughout the night. I really didn't want her to go to sleep that early, but it's fine. Um, I'm going to have her come over here and just kind of sit down after she cleans up a little bit. But another thing about these two is... <sighs> <laughs> I don't even know. They are something else. It's like, they're a cute family. They really are. They're a really cute family. And I think that Olivia has done a lot of good for Don as far as making him kind of grow up and, you know, realize some things. And they're cute. They're cute together. They look good together. But they're one and the same. They're both romance sims. And she also wants to woohoo with three different sims. She wants to ask them on a date and woohoo. I mean, how are you going to be in a relationship with Dawn and woohoo with three different sims? But if you've been watching the series from the very beginning, you know that, you know, Nina has always been in love with Dawn. You know, she's a very beautiful girl. She's had plenty of boyfriends. But Dawn has always just kind of been that number one. You know, her, her number one. <laughs> her one true love. And... She knew, you know, he is a little bit of a playboy himself, so it's like, okay, how am I going to trap him? Well, you know, we accidentally forgot to take our birth control. Oops, I don't know how that happened. And she was hoping that it would, it would work, and, and, and it did. You know, he moved in, he's doing better, he's, as far as she is concerned, <laughs> he's committed to her. But then it also worries me, because she also kind of has this wild side of her, and she's also very uh, romantic-oriented uh, <laughs> and into other sims. We haven't seen that side of her yet, but I don't know. I just Part of me thinks that they're very toxic for each other, and no matter what happens in the end, <laughs> as far as, like, if he does end up eloping with her and marrying her, and it's like this happy ending, you think, I don't think in season two we'll have much of happiness like I, I don't think that they'll make it is what I'm saying I just think that they're toxic for each other they're not good for each other um it, you know for the most part but anyways we're gonna have her come up here and dance a little bit get her fun up because as soon as he's done eating I'm gonna have him I guess we'll just let that one hamburger spoil actually well she's getting a little bit hungry but we'll just wait until the morning time to feed her but I'm gonna have him come over here and relax I am gonna have them woohoo real quick just because 
So you come over here and relax too. She does have the desire to woohoo and uh, so does he. So we're going to go ahead and kill two birds with one stone here. Alright, so we're going to give them a little bit of privacy. Um, she's probably wondering, what is that noise? Mom and Dad sound like they're having a lot of fun in there. <laughs> um, but of course, she didn't sleep throughout the night. But she's going to come in here and take a shower. Um, and I guess we're just kind of going to like play with her a little bit off camera. Try to, you know, I mean, she can't go back to sleep. So, anyways, we're going to let these two rest. They just, you know, got it on. And that was just cute. Um... They enjoy that. They enjoy that uh, hobby in their spare time. But see, see here, woohoo with five different sims. Oh my gosh, it's so confusing. It's like, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I still don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. I really haven't. <laughs> now you just got a shower. Let's not stomp in the freaking mud puddle. Can you clean that up? Well, yeah, let's be a good little girl and clean up. Um, oh, that's a cute little dress that she's got on. I never took her shopping, but looks like that has her everyday wear dress, which is fine because it's about to be spring, so we're just going to leave her in that. We're not going to take her shopping or do any of that bull crap, but anyways, I'm going to play on through the night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Hopefully, I, or Dawn, has made up our mind on what we're going to do. All right, rise and shine, fam. I'm a little disappointed that Woohooin does not get their fun up in The Sims 2, um, but old time girl, a body for days. Anyway, she's going downstairs to serve some breakfast. As you can see, Olivia kind of made a mess of her room last night because she just wasn't having going to sleep at a decent hour because she slept all day. But anyway, she's resting up before she has to go to school because it is Friday. It'll be her first day of school. And it looks like Dawn is uh, taking a leak. And then we're going to have him take a shower. Now, both him and Nina do work today. He doesn't work until... 6 p.m. and she does go to work at 9 a.m. so <sighs> yeah I still don't know what I'm gonna do in case you were wondering I think I have an idea um, hopefully you guys like it um, I think you guys know where it's ultimately gonna end um, but if I was to put myself kind of like in this position Oh, actually, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. <laughs> but anyways, uh, you'll see. You'll see what I'm planning. But anyways, we're just casually just going to spend some time playing with him throughout their day. Um, and I'm going to have him get a shower. He's not super hungry right now, but oh, look at him. He's actually cleaning up. But let's look at the skills that he has to earn. He needs to work on his cleaning. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. He's working on his cleaning and his logic. Does this give us logic? I don't know. I think this gives us logic, right? You would think. I mean, it wouldn't give us cooking, mechanical, charisma, body, logic, creativity, or... Okay, it might give us logic. Anyways, we're going to test. But it's it's got to do with his career, <laughs> which right now he is, what, a resident? So, we're very close to getting a promotion. And, I don't know, I still think it's super weird that Don is in the medical career. Like, you would just think that he was just... But you think about it, and it's like you think about Grey's Anatomy <laughs> and uh, some of the good looking, you know, residents that we've seen on there, and it kind of makes sense. You know, the little playboys, yeah, kind of makes sense. Um, but, anyways, we know that Nina is in the slacker career, and she has only two more little skills here until she can go ahead and get her promotion. So, the carpool for Nina will arrive in about an hour, and the bus for Olivia will arrive in about an hour. So, Olivia. Um, how about you get up, let's go ahead and come and use the restroom, get ready for school. Um, she does have the want to get an A-plus report card, she wants to jump rope, torment someone, okay, that's, <laughs> that's cute, and be swung around by someone. So, oh, that gave him the mechanical skill, okay, so this is not giving us logic, this is giving us mechanical, which he didn't need, but we got an extra one for when he does need it, so that's cute. Um, but we do need to work on cleaning, so for now, um, let's come down here. We'll just use this book right here, I guess, and we're going to study cleaning. I just want him to kind of, I want him to get a promotion, and I want Nina to get a promotion too, and how in the world is she still kind of hungry? I don't know. I thought that pancakes were pretty good quality, but I guess not. So anyway, she's coming up here and she's kind of cleaning up after Olivia. She really needs to put some clothes on, um, but she's about to have to go to work. So, yeah, let's let's not go chat with our daughter in our underwear. That's just 
oh, she's about to walk in anyways. She's like, oh, mom, where's your clothes? Are you going to work like that? <laughs> anyways, um, <laughs> she's going to go ahead and go to work, and Olivia is going to head off to school. And I guess we're just kind of going to hang out here with Don for a little bit. What's the deal, dude? Are you not going to study cleaning? Let's have him come eat real quick because he's hungry, and we want to stay on top of our needs here in The Sims 2 because it's a pain in the butt, but... But, but, <laughs> oh, I need, I need a life. Anyways, um, huh, I was thinking what we can do while we're just kind of hanging out with Don a little bit. Oh, the phone's ringing. Let's answer it. Maybe it's that girl or something. Maybe it's something that's going to help me make my decision a lot easier. Hurry up and eat because I want to find out who is calling. I'm assuming it's somebody asking about a magazine. Looks like the magazine dude. I don't know. I guess he just wants to chat, whoever he is. So, um, yeah, we ain't got time for that. Let's go ahead and put away these leftovers before they freaking spoil. Um, now, I think there are bills out here that need to be paid. Yeah, let's pay all of our bills. We have the money. I don't want to have our power cut off or anything like that. But, anyways, I was hoping whoever that was calling was going to be... Um, you know, something that's going to sway my decision. Um, but he wants to dance with Cameron. Okay, well. I don't know. All of these. <sighs> this is See, this is just really hard for me, you guys. Like, I honestly am struggling big time right now. Because, mm -hmm, like I said, he, he wants. He's, a, he's, a, he's Don Lothario. He's a man ho, right? Like, he's never going to change. I was hoping that Olivia would make him change, but that is proven to be false theory because we've caught him on a date. He wants to woohoo with five different sims. You just he can't control it. He honestly needs, like, uh, probably, like, sex therapy or something. I don't know. You know, maybe he's just not the type that's going to settle down. You know, there there's people like that. Um, anyways, I'm going to have him come study his cleaning while I kind of figure out what I want to do. I'm just kind of going to talk about the decision. Hopefully, you guys, um, are going to get where I'm coming from. Um, and as far as Nina, like I said, she's the same way. Even though she does love Dawn, and he, he does love her, he does. She's the mother of his child. She also has that side of her that is, it's going to be hard for her to turn down temptation as well. Um... But I think for right now that they're happy together. They're kind of in this la-la land that things are going to work out. And they have this beautiful little family. And I think what Dawn's going to do when she gets home from work in a few hours is just say, Hey, let's just do it. Why wait? <laughs> because I know how I am and I might screw up. But let's just, let's just do it. Let's just elope. Let's just get married. And Nina... Is gonna say yes, I think. I think she'll say yes, and they'll be married. And that's weird. It's weird to say that's my final decision. I am gonna have him elope with her since they are already engaged. Um, because I think from the dynamic that I've gathered <laughs> playing this family throughout this season is that they love Olivia and they think that they're doing the best thing for Olivia. But some of you probably know being with parents who have marital issues or commitment issues or, you know, I don't know what that's like, but maybe you do. Sometimes you think that it's the best thing when really it's not. It's to give them the idea of a healthy relationship. And I think that in season two, we're going to see that, you know, marriage probably wasn't the best decision for both of them because they have these wants and these whims to do these things that aren't faithful to one another. Um, but also, they both had the romance aspiration, so I'm not really sure if she's going to reject him and his proposal or not, but, or marriage or not. I mean, they're already engaged, so I guess she wouldn't, she wouldn't deny his marriage elopement, I guess. <sighs> but anyways, that's what we're going to do, so <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I guess just kind of like a speed on through here until she gets home and... Yeah, we're going to have him kind of pump himself up and just, he's just going to go off of, go off of his whim <laughs> and what he thinks is best for his daughter and ultimately their family as a whole. 
All right, so Nina's home, Olivia's home, Don thought about it all day, as you know, and he is about to come over here and just propose marriage. He's like, look, here's the papers, here's the ring, let's just sign it, and let's just do the let's do the damn thing. So yeah, I definitely don't think Nina was expecting this at all, but she's like, okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and they're gonna have their little kiss here. I got the wedding rings, they sign in the papers, they're sending them off, and she is now a Nina Lothario. So they are married, and as you can see, um, not really good. <laughs> they're both like, oh, oh shit. <laughs> oh, is this really what I wanted? Let me grab a little screenshot of that, just to prove that they are not feeling it. Um, in their heart, their deepest hearts of hearts, they know this probably isn't going to work. But, see, if we go to their memories here, got married to Nina. Negative experience because they are romance sims. But anyways, um, he's about to have to go to work, so I'm going to have him come over here and, okay, we're not playing catch. Um, he's going to take a shower. Whew, real quick, I have indigestion so bad. You guys, it's unreal. Ugh, pregnancy. Anyways. Oh, she is, like, really struggling with her fun. I'm going to have her come down here and, um, na, 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 na. let's, I mean, play. Let's play The Sims. I mean, why not? That's what I do to have fun. <laughs> um, and Olivia is up here working on her fun as well. And then I'm going to have her do some of her homework. But anyways, you guys, for the most part, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this part up here. Um... Because, you know, we ended it on something that is kind of big, kind of crazy. Uh, I didn't expect this, kind of did. I don't know if you knew what my decision was going to be, but ultimately, from the very beginning, I really didn't know. <laughs> um, but I thought about it, and I just, in the heat of the moment, I think that was the right decision, they thought. But we're going to find out soon, season two, probably, that it wasn't the best decision. So he is off to work. Um... So yeah, I'm, I'm going to end this here. So my questions for you guys are, did I make the right decision? Did Don make the right decision? Um, it might not have been the right decision, but in the heat of the moment, do you think that this is going to play out entertaining, you know, for them to be married? And then, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they'll work out. <laughs> maybe they'll surprise me. They'll change their life, their, their personality. I don't know, but I just don't think so. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be fun for season two to kind of have some drama in a family. And we don't really have much of that right now. So I wanted for sure to make sure I had that. So I kind of wanted to, you know, take this route just for that reason. So let me know if you think that that is a good decision on my part. Um, it's too late now. <laughs> but still give me your feedback. And then also, do you think that we need to get a new house? <laughs> because I think that we do. Um, for sure. I really do. So <laughs> anyways, answer those two questions down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And this is our last time seeing the Lothario family. Now it's Lothario. It's not Caliente slash Lothario. It's just straight up Lothario. This is our last time seeing them, you know, before season two. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys have liked their storyline so far. Thank you guys for watching. All the support, all the feedback. Love y'all, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye.